Hello, this is uh, Tell Me Your Secrets, Episode 4. I don't know you. I believe is what it's called. Okay, so. Uh, oh, man. Last episode, we had uh, uh, Emma started to bond with the bully chick, Rose. Yeah, it's Rose, I think. And Oh, my thing. Uh, and, um, uh, oh, Pete said he didn't work at the orphanage, but he did. I mean, he, he said he didn't know. He said he didn't know this town, but he has a freaking plaque on the wall at the orphanage. So he is lying for sure. Uh, he um, He's lying, and he won't tell us what is going on. He seems very shady, and I can't tell if it's because he is bad or if they're just trying to make him look bad. So I, I hold reservation until I know any more because he hasn't done anything too weird. If anything, he's actually done exactly what she asked him to do, which was investigate the orphanage. So I don't know what to think there. But he definitely lied about being from here. He definitely knows the place. He's freaking worked here. Who knows what else he's done here? We haven't seen Teresa since the first episode when she was in the barber shop. We don't know what happened to her since then, but we know she's, as far as I can tell, she's here of her own free will. Then you have, uh, oh, John kind of slipped up a bit. He's going a little bit, he's getting a little bit too comfortable in his arena and starting to forget who he is, I think. He gotta go do a few more prayer sessions. Or you should just kind of stop this because he's going to... I feel I fear that he will fall off the cliff eventually. Like an alcoholic just, you know, going back to what they know. Oh, boy. And Mary is unscrupulous. Unscrupulous. She will do anything to get her kid back. Um, Kind of almost possessive, really. Since the, since, and since we know that Teresa may not, is not actually kidnapped makes you wonder what she it looks like she ran off why she ran off what did the mom do to her to make her want to run off like that the mom is yeah she is willing to put on the 200 people on the bus to get what she wants and then you have oh yes yeah, the last part esther moses the old lady in the hospital she's in the hospital looks like she may have been the one who i think she 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 knows who Emma really is. Right? She raised her, I think, something like that. At the orphanage or whatever. And she said she said her secret is safe with me. I mean your secret is safe with me, whatever that means. Whatever whatever secret she has that this lady knows. Unfortunately, right in front of her as she puts she was she uh, is the guy who's gonna get it from her. Uh what's it called? He said, you know, she said, I don't trust wolves. Oh shit. And then you cut to John right in the edge of her freaking bed. It's like she knows. She knows, but no one listening to her. She can sense what he is. I uh, don't know what side he's going to... I hope he stays on the right side of the thing. But, you know, nobody in the story is very... More, there's, no, there's no moral center here. So everybody's kind of different shades of gray. So, oh boy. But it could go either way because of that. You know what I mean? There's no way to tell what, what side... What, what he's going to end up doing... And it makes perfect sense. Uh, I like that it makes perfect sense as to why he's there. Mary hired him, and she is, she, she is, she does whatever it takes. She she throw other people, like I said, she throw other other people under the bus to get what she wants. So it makes sense that somebody with a mind like that would wouldn't mind hiring an ex convicted rapist to go find my son, my my daughter. No one else would do that because no one else would be that crazy to do it, except for Mary. Because she's willing to do whatever it takes, even if it means destroying his life as well in the process. But that's where we leave off. There we go. Uh, Tell Me Your Secrets, Episode 4. I don't know you. I'm Pete Killery. There you go. I'm very glad you agreed to meet me. Oh, this is where they first met. As long as you're in here, no choice will ever be yours. I do think you have PTSD. That's why you pull your hair out. That's why he yanked at her hair. Than, uh, he pulled her away from pulling her hair in the car. Hey. Doing okay? Need anything? Cup of sugar? You want me to take that to the mailroom for you? I'm not like I'm writing. Uh, oh, the black guy. Head out. Oh, what they hit her with? Yo, this bitch done so much lying, she's starting to believe it. We gonna help you remember. That's how she had the black guy. Yeah, you know, get out of here. I'm ready to talk. Well, that is the best news I've heard all day. How about you go and get the biggest cloud you can? Well, hurry up. 
I love the way she looks at him though. She's, she's so devoted. He was just he was just doing it right there in front of her. I love the gold. She's got a voice. Ah, uh, don't listen to me. What are you doing? Did I thought you said your secret. A stone? Do you need a stone, Roger? <laughs> Roger. Oh, she. <laughs> They had a birthday party then. You know, I chose to go to Egypt. She's always doing this in the background, you know? Um, this lady's always talking to him, doing speeches in the background. I lived in Seattle. My name's Oh, that's the, is that the lady who was talking to Jess in the first you. episode? Hi. Maybe it's the aura of others that I sense. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <sighs> I'm jealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm jealous. Yeah. Is that why you need a key so you can come check up on me? When all the time, it's you. I worked there when I was 20. You're not going to find anything. Why are they sealed? Emma, I'm a psychiatrist. Because it's my cabin. What? You keep that shirt. It looks way better on you than it ever did on me. <laughs> Everything is his. No, none of that stuff is hers. Even the even the house, the freaking shirts are his. I think I'm gonna take off for a few days to a spa. Oh no! Bullshit. Yeah. She's not gonna stop. What is she doing? I think she maybe she's gonna head on and find on herself. She gonna join John? That's gonna be interesting. I think they gonna sleep in the same hotel or what? That's all his stuff. That kind of tell you something about him. Well, the photos then. Are the photos his too? Suddenly this house is like a prison, huh? You're suddenly looking at the house with new eyes. Nothing seems like it's your own anymore. Everything is his. And she finds herself wishing she could go back to the past. Right? This song. She knows something's wrong. But she doesn't want to believe it. Hey, he's alive. She's alive. Thanks. But she was worried. She wondered if she if he, she wasn't. So she's now she's looking in there for anything that he might have left, maybe some kind of secrets. I think he cleaned that whole place out before you got he let her stay there. What? Why he's so stupid? He left something. He actually left something there. There's no way she would have been dumb enough to leave anything there. Yes, it's an ultra <gasps> She did join him. I knew it. Ooh, this is so it's so weird. After what she stands for, so hanging out with the freaking rapist is so weird for. Well, my important work yeah. Alone. Leave him alone. Just let him do his okay. thing. Well, maybe you actually might want to watch me, though. Just to... That shit. It was because of Swamp, right? Man, look at all that. I can't see the bottom at all. Whoa. That's what you want? I, I, I just I don't want to feel like I'm in a fight is all. Well, then no fight. <laughs> Emma, hold on. I was just saying. She's not over her. Oh, an old rapid, friend. Really. Well, remember, to old boyfriend. It's okay. It's all right. I'm here. <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know you. From Florida? Get them out. Get them away from me. I don't want to see the girls from school. Well, she's crazy. She knows who he, she recognizes him for what he is. I think that's a moment of clarity. Ah, oh, the boy. Like water. That's uh, Rose's mom. It's too young, that man. He'd be too young. She out the window. Oh, she went. Oh, that's, that's cool. Oh yeah, she's just right there. That's so cool. They got the, just trees right outside of them on their porch and everything. Wake up at night so hard. <laughs> she rather she wants to go hang out with. Rather go hang out with Emma. <laughs> so hard. Oh, my gosh. You have Leave a me alone. energy, which is understandable, but it brings attention. I think you had a lot of rage. I think Esther felt your rage. She could sense it. Ooh! You know? Do you want to know about mm. Oh, mm. shit. That's where Roger came from. So she's pretending. Oh my gosh. So she's pretending to be him. I don't want you there anymore. Make it very clear. Just stay away. He can figure this out on his own. Every night, my mom locks me in my bedroom to keep me safe from the world. There it is. Of your mom. Kept in the tower. Dangerous Everything. Men. Hmm? She's right. Your mom 
It isn't safe here. It isn't a good place. Maybe the mom knows something. Somebody's in our apartment. Okay, what are you doing good. there? I'm your friend. I came here to, to make sure you were okay. You'll never find her. Not at my house. And then skulls <laughs> with a hammer. Get out of my house! And wait. You draw your she couldn't just let him do his thing. Then you'd better get comfortable. <laughs> She's not gonna and kiss. That's the only time my Karen's ever coming home. Kiss my coffin. Oh, shit. Mister, get back into bed now. Come on. Mm -hmm. oh. I just want to know where she is. Stop making that noise. Please stop it. Stop. What the hell's happening? I think I remember her. Oh, the tattoo. We were in North Carolina at a music festival. It was... This is good. You're not really free. Holy shit. He's tracking. I'm calling for, uh, for Esther Moses. Uh-oh. Esther passed away last night. Is that John, is it? Oh, shit. That's John. It's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> Because that's the only way she would come and see him. It's on a coffin. To kiss her coffin. My dad won't even notice it's gone. We're gonna run off together? Wow. You don't have to come with me. Give me five minutes. She's so happy. I'll she's be right like, back. She's like so excited for this. She's gonna leave it out her? He put a camera inside there. Whoa. He filmed what they were doing. Don't tell me. He's got freaking footage on her. Oh, <gasps> he does. Did he put that after he after she came? Cause she knew he would do that? Oh, he didn't he didn't know she was gonna be there. Holy shit. What the hell? No, she did not. She did it. She actually did it. Oh <laughs> what do you have? He can't believe his eyes. Oh my gosh, you could blackmail her for life with that. I like how he actually feels remorse for the lady. The old lady. Holy shit! That's messed up! What is he gonna do with that? That's how it ends. It's a perfect spot right there. Oh man, that's great. Oh boy. That was fantastic. That last scene was so good. It, there's so much stuff that was pervade. There was um, set up in that one scene beautiful so he uh john put the picture frame in there with the picture with the photo with the camera in it before all this he didn't know she was gonna do anything he put it in there to watch her in case she did something and the end but he didn't know he didn't know he was gonna capture he was gonna capture freaking mary freaking killing somebody she just killed committed she just killed someone she committed homicide on a freaking old lady defenseless old lady oh my gosh he's right i mean she has got so much anger and rage and she took it out she couldn't take it out on emma so she took it out on this lady holy shit she's she is worse than anything emma could have ever done man freaking killing old ladies even the guy didn't stoop to that level oh john's face he's like I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. He can't believe. He cannot. He can't believe what he just saw. And the question is, what is he going to do with it? Because um, the question is, what is he going to do with it? Because he now has enough to blackmail her. You know, so she can say shit about him, whatever. But everybody knows he's a rapist already. He, he's convicted. He has to tell everybody. Right? But now he has something on her. She would never want anyone to know. <sighs> Tell me your secrets, right? <sighs> now she's got freaking dark secrets of her own. She's just as bad as a freaking killer now for doing that shit. Holy crap. Emma is going to run away with Rose. What the hell? Interesting relationship they have. How, how it started so different. You know, it started with a bullying. But then it ended up changing. It ended up becoming what it is. They ended up they, she ended up Rose ended up really liking Emma and wants to hang out with her. Now she wants to run off with her so quick. But I I, I, I don't know how Emma really feels about that. 
I think that Emma is. I think that Emma is still a little girl on the inside. The way the way that she the way that she acts around uh the serial killer boyfriend was very childish, I think. Like up and jumping up and down on a little girl. I think that that's where she's stuck at, I think. That's why she kinda seems to her notice the best relationship she have is with the little girls. Now not with the guys around or anything like that, you know. She's her best her, her closest the the most she starts laughing and smiling at all the other girls. Because I think she relates to them more than anybody else. I don't know about running away with this girl, though. She's only using it because she has money. But I don't know. It's not going to work out, lady. But she needs to get out. Everybody keeps coming into her house and everything. Even the cat's not her own. She can't take it anymore. She needs to get out of there. But I, I thought she was going to go look for Jess. So I don't know what she's, she's going to do with that. Um, Mary. John. <laughs> That old lady was awesome. I like the idea that dementia is is heightens your subconscious subconsciousness. So it's like it's like it's like if, you, if somebody is mad in the room, she picks it up and she channels that. She's become like a conduit for emotions. That's cool. So you gotta go in with a calm mind, or she's gonna not be calm either. She could sense the rage inside of you. You throw off the wrong kind of energy. It mean it does make a difference. I believe that. That's cool. That's really cool. And he actually showed some remorse for the lady, the old lady, that she had to be taken out that way. He wasn't trying to kill her. He was just trying to get the information from her. And I think he would have done it. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Because according to the lady, you were never going to get it from me. I almost I almost kind of thought that she didn't have dementia. But she was already diagnosed with it. But for a second there, I kind of believe maybe she didn't. Maybe it was all an act just to protect Emma. You know, I don't know. But she was diagnosed, so I guess it is. But for a second there, she had clarity and she recognized the role for the wolves. Now, you know what? She was never going to tell him anything. Just like she said, the secret's safe with her. So I wonder, did, um, I wonder if uh, Mary went crazy? Did she lose her, did she lose it and strangle to death? Or was that part of the plan? Pre- was, it, was it premeditated or was it a passion crime, you know? Was she taking out her rage on, um, on an innocent lady? Or did she kill her? Because the lady did say... Karen will only come back to kiss my coffin. She only she would only come back to town to see me because I'm dead. Makes me think that. Makes me think that Mary did it on purpose. But it's it's a bit it's, I think it's left ambiguous. You're not sure whether she did it on purpose or whether she, she did it, um by accident. I like that. I almost want to think she did it on purpose. Because she knows the only way to get her back... The only way for Karen to come back is to kill this lady. She has to die. Holy shit. Oh, man. They actually talked. John just talked to Karen. Um, Where is this going? Where is this going, man? And they still haven't found the killer. I don't know what to think about P anymore. He's suspicious, but... He doesn't... I think he was being honest. He doesn't have a record. He doesn't have anything bad to do to say. I mean, he doesn't... He's not guilty of anything. To with this, I don't think so. My best guess, uh, he doesn't feel like he is, but I can't be sure. But somebody is out there, that's for sure, and they still gotta find him. Okay, this is um, this will we'll be watching episode four of Tell Me Your Secrets. Uh, this show is great. Can't wait for the next episode. See ya.